Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, I'll show you how to control third-party plugins in Studio One using the FCB 1010. Before we begin, your FCB 1010 controller must be programmed to the factory settings in Bank Zero. You can restore the controller to factory settings by turning the controller off, holding down the 1 and 6 pedals, and turning it back on while holding the pedals until the countdown finishes. If you have other banks programmed and you wish to preserve those settings, then you will have to program Bank 0 to send program changes 1 through 10. If you need help setting up the FCB 1010 to interface with Studio One, click the link above. Now that you have set up Bank Zero on the FCB 1010, we can begin. To start, go to Studio One, Options, and click the External Devices tab. Click Add. Search for Behringer and select FCB 1010. For Receive From and Send To, enter the device your controller sends MIDI messages through. Click OK. Click OK and open the plugin. Now that the plugin is open, click the drop down arrow next to the cog icon and select FCB 1010. Click the cog icon so the parameter bar is displayed. Click the drop down arrow in the parameter bar and select FCB 1010. The external devices window will open with the FCB 1010 tab displayed. In the parameter pane you will see a hand icon. If you don't see it, click the drop down in the parameter section and unselect recently touched, then reselect it and move a knob or a button. Move a control on the plugin. You will see that control displayed next to the hand. Grab the hand and drag it to a pedal on the FCB 1010 external device pane. You will see the name appear on the pedal you have chosen in the pane. You can now control the parameter from the FCB 1010. Repeat the process to complete the bank. Now, when you step on any of the pedals, they will control a parameter in the plugin. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.